Here are some pink oyster mushrooms. I have fruiting in the uh, garage, in the garage fruit chamber. And as you can see, um, these pinks, I, I only use um, a cold water pasteurization method. So I get a lot of contamination, or at least I did with this run. Um, I have four bags here, but all four bags are fruiting. And as you see, this one's, um, you know, they're, they're fruiting a lot. Um, they're fruiting pretty well, and this is the first fruiting. And I've noticed pinks are very much like a weed. It just seems that uh, even if you don't get things right, they still produce. Um, and yeah, I'm going to eat all these. Uh, but it's um, just interesting that I used to, when I started off growing mushrooms, I would have considered this a loss. And if I had this bag with this much contamination, I probably would have thrown it away. Um, but after having so many bags that I've thrown away, eventually fruit when they're sitting out in the yard, uh, especially with things like uh, paints, I just uh, decided that if I wasn't doing any large scale commercial growing, it really, um, it, you know, efficiency and all of that didn't really matter as much. And, and honestly, like I said, these paints are a weed. They just grow however, whenever. Um, as long as the conditions are right, they'll keep fruiting. So, uh, in here, again, you see the cheap um, pond fogger. Uh, if you probably can't even see it down there uh, producing. But we've had a lot of uh, rain and a lot of humidity anyway, so I've kind of used a combination of the fogger and then just uh, uh, our fan here, which is a, a bathroom exhaust fan that's outside that's close to a window in the garage that kind of blows fresh air in and I don't even filter it. Um, so naturally I do get things like um, the mold, but the, like I said, the pinks just keep going. Have a good one.